and the common people. I had the privilege of door knocking over 18,000 homes myself and I've seen this is what the people feel. The politicians are mostly to be seen during the election time and then they disappear. I want to change that. The major issue I want to fight for is to save our children from drugs and this is what I'm striving for. Surrey Newton is in crisis and we all as a community have to come forward and save our children because they are our legacy. What I find out is that there is more talk but there is no work on that. So I'm going to divide this right into four parts. Every two months we'll be having open town hall meetings where people like you, me, law enforcement agencies, counselors, we can all sit down and solve our issues. So basically, I am for the people, I have always stood for the people, and will stand for the people. Thank you. Sit down, Ivo, please. Thank you. Harpit has said right. You need a elected representative that does not show up only either that person is elected or just only during the election time. I am the person that has lived in this community for the last 20 years. I am the candidate that has raised my family here for the last 20 years. I am the candidate whose elderly parents lived in this riding. I am the candidate who has built my business here. Whether I was elected or not elected, for the past 20 years, I've been part and parcel of this community and very actively involved. I have the professional qualification with professional engineer, BC land surveyor, and more importantly, I'm the person who is all in there. Thank you very much. I understand there is a bit of the time limit that we have to go by, okay, and uh, we apologize for any of the inconvenience that might cause to any of the speakers, but in respect for the audience, we're just going to follow that route. We're going to start with the first question, and I'm going to ask that question. We're going to start this um, question with Harpreet to answer first. Drugs and gang violence is a big problem in our community and in our province. People suspect or are found involved in other countries of drug trafficking and money laundering and wanted by Interpol but roaming free in Canada. What would new government do to have those face justice in Canada just like they face for sex crimes against children and terrorism abroad? Harpreet will go first. A very important question that you raised is that you have to give all the this was the Jisra Mapni introduction which we hear. Kisati Sarkar, tough on crime, bills, lagi, and the regi, and the regi. But of source, such bill did a pass in the parliament which NDP were on the post Kitaria. Kyoke O bills such as Jedeke Sat Sada, Una criminals of the Diajan, Jedeke Sadia Sarka, the Sade Karandavich, a subter Thali Majarine. Drugs is a Masia, Bahad no Mire, but self police in all the Akite Sol may wake. Sarkar ne saw bandhyan ho ke aasi ke saw police of sarathe aange and out of that we'll be pleased to know that 52 are already on the ground. And us to alawa, Sarkar kya di hai ki ki is de vich asi as a community ake aayye te main is de vich pahannu involve karke kyunke saate issues kuch vakhre ne poore Canada par which crime thale ja rahe hai. But why is it that in Surrey Newton it is increasing? There are specific reasons for that and I believe we have to involve the community in decision making and come up with solutions which are pertaining to us. So we'll focus on this. Government is the one which is saying we'll be tough on crime and that is why we are passing the bills which the other opposition parties, especially the NDP, is opposing it. We want rules to be toughened for the culprit and not the victims. Thank you. I'm just going to ask you to comment on the question itself directly, which is basically people suspected of fraud involved in other countries or drug trafficking and money laundering and warranted by Interpol but roaming free in Canada. What would new government do to have those face justice in Canada just like they face for sex crimes against children and terrorism abroad? First of all, we have to make sure that we have such conventions that exist. And I believe there are some conventions that exist today, but there is a lack of resources. And that's what we've heard from border security, that's what we hear from CSIS, that's what we've heard from the RCMP. So we have to make sure that we resource our agencies so they can do the job we ask them to do. And I make a commitment that if there are gaps where we are hindered from following through uh, with international uh, criminals who are roaming the streets, then we will make sure that those gaps are filled. 
but I'm not going to stand here and say to you that everything is perfect, it's not. We all read the newspapers and we all know what's going on. But let me tell you, it's the very government that says they are tough on crime, who left or stole $1.7 billion from the RCMP and instead of letting them do their work, they took it to pay off their deficit. It's the same government that left $29 million unspent in the account to fight drugs and crime. Why? Because they wanted to pay off their deficit. Thank you. We have to have a legislation in place if there is any holes in there. And when it came to crime legislation, any piece of legislation that came through the House of Commons when I was a member of Parliament, I did not look at the critical stripes. I always supported to strengthen that legislation, unlike the NDP as Harpreet mentioned. The other thing is, where conservatives have paid, Ginny has said right, they have paid on putting the resources into prevention. That is where we got to focus. We want to make sure that our border services, our first responders, they have the resources to deal with it. Sir Newton, all these illegal guns that are moving into Syria are coming from the U.S. They have paid. We have to restore, bring in more resources so we are able to deal with it. Thank you. You have 30 seconds to one minute to respond if you wanted to or question one of the comments that they have made. The question is the government can pass the bills and that is what the government did. 60 anti-crime bills were passed but unfortunately majority of them were opposed by NDP and Jerry Sims who comes into Sari Newton and says that nothing is happening in the parliament when they have the time she should have gone for those bills because that matters to all of us. But over here she says the government is not doing anything and resources have been cut. But on the other hand what we find is just having more police will not solve the issue. We as a community have to come together. We have to come out of our silos and work together to come up with solutions. Thank you Jenny. Thank you very much and I'm glad you raised that. As a teacher, I've always said we need money in education, early prevention, rehabilitation and reintegration. And to keep saying I've opposed some of the Conservative bills, I'm proud of my record of what I have opposed in Parliament. When a government puts to get forward a bill that's the size of a phone book for Surrey, and in it they're increasing the retirement age from 65 to 67, they're cutting EI, they're cutting our environmental, they're cutting resources for kids to fight gangs, Thank you. Please. On one side we have Mr. Harper, who spent billions and billions of dollars building jails. On the other hand, we have NDP that does not support any legislation on crime that comes forward to strengthen it. We need to have a balance. On one side, we have to have a smart legislation to deal with hardcore criminals, but on the other hand, we have to have resources put in for prevention, for rehabilitation, and education purposes. Thank you. I'm just going to give you guys 30 seconds again just to comment on that there's going to be 100 officers, RCMP officers, that were promised, regardless if they hear or not. That does not, the community doesn't think that is going to resolve the problem. What other uh, efforts your government is able to commit or is going to commit in the near future to make Surrey safe. And we'll give you one minute to respond to that. So we start with Harpreet, the please. Yeah. So as far as prevention is concerned, the government is concerned about it. And just in May of this year, especially for Surrey, $3.5 million were given to the Surrey School District so that we can use that money for prevention of our youth from going into gangs. The government is committed to prevention, but along with that, we want tough rules for the culprits. Today, the rules are so lax. The police can get a person arrested, but the next day they are released by the courts. So the government wants that these people who go behind the bars should feel the pinch. And that is why we are tough on crime and we will continue to pass those bills, irrespective of the fact whether the opposition supports or not. We do not want a society where the culprits roam scot-free. You have listened so many times and Sally Newton, 
100 times offenders are roaming scot free. So do we want that kind of society or we want the culprits behind the bars? And we are committed to that and we will continue with that. One of the key things we've got to look at is the causes. We've got to look at how we address mental health. We've also got to take a look at some of our laws around drugs and the kind of resources we give the police. You know, it's very hard for me to stomach somebody who's decided to join a party that has a record that's made it easier for guns to move into Surrey and out of Surrey. Now, did you know you no longer need to get a certificate in order to move a gun if you have a license from point A to point B? Did you know that under this government, in order to save money, the regular inspections at the port and at the uh, border were stopped simply to save money and now it depends on if they're suspicious. So we have a government that thinks just putting people into jail is going to solve the problem and they're not looking at the causes and they're making it easier for criminal activity by making it easier for gun trafficking. We look at Mr. Harper's record over the past decade. He have cut every penny that he could to prevent the mayors. And now it's election time, three weeks into the election. Last week, CTB asked me to comment on $4 million that they are putting in here. I said, it is a drop in the bucket. We need more resources to make sure that we are able to provide the resources to community organizations that keep our children away from getting involved in the criminal activity and the ones that they do, we have to put resources in so we are able to rehabilitate those families. And I can tell you, those efforts have been missing and this is how we have more guns Thank and you. more crime here. And I'm going to give just a 10 seconds to respond if there would be any. I think Harvey had something to say on that. Our Honourable Member Parliament should know that the guns which are being used over here are not those long guns, the 12 more guns which are used for hunting. We are tough on crime and we are taking the measures which are required to stop people from importing and selling or using those guns. So when she says that the government is lying, I think it's a false misinterpretation. It is only Thank those you, guns that long. We're going to have Jenny to go first. Then next, please. Thank you. This piece of legislation passed in Parliament in June and was a reward to the gun lobby for remaining silent on C-51 and the president of the gun lobby actually made that announcement. It is easier to move guns around our country now than before. Thank you. Super. Time and time again, we cannot do this if we do not have resources for our border security forces our first responders, making sure that those 100 police officers that has been part of the contract with... Thank you, Sue. We're going to go to the next question, which is kind of related. It's uh, with C24. Is a child born to Canadian parents, Canadian or not? Can he or she be deported in any circumstances to their ancestral country? Please share your views on it. I'm going to ask her pre to respond first. Thank you. This is one of the most important things which is in the minds of all the people. Let me be very clear. This bill is only for three categories of people. Number one, convicted terrorists. Number two, people who indulge in an armed conflict with our brave Canadian soldiers. And thirdly, people who do treason with the country. Deep Gita Javik is a great reckoner. A bill, one of the Hilaku, one of the great ten categories which Hagen, so it's a category of Rama Flaya Jariane, Keton Wapas Pesita Jaga. No, it is only for dual citizens. Jacob Vetti judge convict her that is, you know, terrorism the case which Ya a two categories over the which Tathi Usu Wapas Peja Jaga. The Jacob Pacha Te Jamda, see the father the Uzdan Alta Kulana Denani, Jew terrorism which may involve Hega, the he will stay here only. Jacob country, Koikim the Tonopada, Koiwi. 
देश का नागरिक स्टेटलेस नहीं रह सकता यूनाइटेड नेशन की कन्वेंशन ने कहती है सो इस करके अफवाह ने असी अपनी सिक्योरिटी वास्ते ब्राजील वर्गे देश भी यहोजे कानून लागू किया है तो अज की जो अंतरराष्ट्रीय पद्धर से सिचुएशन बनी हुई है द गवर्नमेंट हैज फुल राइट टू सेफ द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ आर कैनेडियंस एंड दैट थैंक यू वेरी मच चलिए सेम सेक्स प्लीज अ कैनेडियन इज अ कैनेडियन इज अ कैनेडियन एंड वी हैड अ प्राउड हिस्ट्री ऑफ हैविंग अ सिटीजनशिप That's the same for everybody, whether born here or born anywhere else. Now, under this bill, somebody born in Canada or who becomes a naturalized citizen, even if they have never claimed their dual citizenship, because the court, the lawsuit that has been filed by the Conservatives, is they have issued a deportation order on somebody who was born in Canada. His parents did not have Canadian, did not have Pakistani citizenship at the time. They have it now. He's never claimed Pakistani citizenship, and what the government is saying, but he can have it. So therefore, they're going to deport him. This is wrong. If it's our problem, punish terrorists, punish them here. We have a law system. We have jail. Keep them in jail. You still have two minutes if you need it to go on, but I will ask you to go. Thanks. Thank you. C24. Ms. Sims clearly said, "Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian." This is why I chose this country to move. जरूर देखने हैं बिल C24 दिखाल कर दें हम. मेरे बच्चे इधर इतने पैदा हुए तो हमारे बहुत सारे होंगे. अज उन्होंने असी सैकेंड कलास सिटीजन का दर्जा लीए यह बहुत दिल में दुख लगता मैं कहना कि उ रिफॉर्म पार्टी नौ बदलिया कंजरवेटिव का इन्हें जिड़ी कैलगिरी पेल कहती होंगी सी भी सिख जोड़ा वा वो भगवान के आर सी एम पी नहीं जा सकता हम तो मैंबर जोड़े ने वो ये कह देंगे ने भी जो थोड़ा रंग भराउन आई जोड़े हो सा नौकरियां खो रहे हो तो जो थोड़े बुरका पाया हो तो जितों आए उ जाओ इस जोड़ा सी ट्वेंटी फोर बिल आना ये सानू रिपील करना पैना और जना क्या भी असी जो जो असी आए इस बिल में रिपील करा तो कनेडियन सिटीजन इज ए कनेडियन सिटीजन इज ए कनेडियन थैंक यू देर इज ए प्रपोजल दैट अ न्यू टिप लाइन विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर रिपोर्टिंग Barbaric cultural practices to the RCMP to ensure zero tolerance for Barbaric Cultural Practices Act. How do you see this law not creating a panic in the society where a neighbor can report a fellow neighbor on what he considered barbaric? Do you foresee this law being misused in any shape or form or not? Please share your views on that. And her beat will go first. It is barbaric that in Canada, a developed country, after every four minutes, one woman is sexually assaulted. It is barbaric that a small child is molested every ten minutes in Canada. The government has brought this bill so that people, on the basis of what is happening over here, come forward and report about these things because we don't want a society where these kind of things are given preference. And that is why the government has come up with a new tip line so that anybody who sees. This thing happening around the neighborhood or anywhere else can report it, and the action can be taken against the culprits. What is wrong in that? It is not just one community; it is happening in all the communities. So, if the government does something to save our people, then it is called that it is against the people. And if the government doesn't do anything, then it is again said that they are not doing anything. So, I'm quite surprised. Why do not we support such kind of acts, whereas our people are being saved from that tyranny? What they are going through. I know a lot of social organizations which talk about all these things, and this tip line will be for the benefit of those who are using, misusing the system, and they are still trying to have their monopoly over women and children. It is a wonderful act, and it will help all of us, and it will be creating more peace in our society, so that the victims can get the benefit from that. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is very important. I ask that you may be happy that which we is no translate that we have no doubts that you have. That a new proposal is coming. That a new tip line will be made, which is now introduced. It is going to be that if you see that there are barbaric cultural practices, that if you see that there are barbaric cultural practices, that if you see that there are barbaric cultural practices, that if you see that there are barbaric cultural practices, that if you see that there are barbaric 
ਫੋਨ ਲਾਈਨ ਤੇ ਟਿਪ ਦੇ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੇਰਾ ਗਵਾਂਢੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਜੋ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਬਾਰਬੈਰਿਕ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਜੰਗਲੀ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਇਨਹਿਊਮਨ ਲੱਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਟਿਪ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਆਰਸੀਐਮਪੀ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਐਕਟ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਤੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਇਹ ਸੀਗਾ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਇਹ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀਜ਼ ਨੇ ਇਹ 911 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਵਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਨਵੀਂ ਟਿਪ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਕੀ ਇੱਕ ਗਵਾਂਢੀ ਦੂਜੇ ਗਵਾਂਢੀ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਰਾਈਟਸ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਦੈਟ ਦੇ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਨ ਦ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਦੇਅਰ ਹੋਮਸ ਵਿਚ ਦੇ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਸ ਦੇਅਰ ਕਲਚਰ ਵਿਲ ਦੈਟ ਬੀ ਓਕੇ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਬਾਰਬੈਰਿਕ ਜੋ ਜੋ ਜੰਗਲੀ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਕਿਹਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਸ ਕੰਮ ਨੂੰ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਗਲਤ ਤਰੀਕੇ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਲਾਅ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਨੇਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਦੂਸਰੇ ਨੇਬਰ ਦੇ ਵੱਲ ਭੜਕਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਲਾਅ ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨਲੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ 911 ਦੀ ਟਿਪ ਤੋਂ ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨਲੀ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਟਿਪ ਲਾਈਨ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਅਪ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਨੀ ਸਿੰਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਕਮੈਂਟਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਟਿਪ ਲਾਈਨ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਕਲਚਰਲ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਇਟ ਕਰਾਸਸ ਆਲ ਕਲਚਰਲ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਸੀਓ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਲਾਈਨਸ ਡੋਮੈਸਟਿਕ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹੋਰਟ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਨੀਡ ਲਾਅਸ ਟੂ ਟੈਕਲ ਥੈਟ ਬਟ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਹਾਊ ਡਿਵਿਸਿਵ ਥਿਸ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਅ ਬਿਲ that is called barbaric cultural practices and in it they this domestic violence well they've been cutting resources to fight domestic violence for the last decade now suddenly it comes barbaric at the same time as they got C51 C24 the nikab issue and everything else and at the same time let me tell you in this bill it also says if you have more than one wife well i'm sorry mr harper it's already illegal in canada to be polygamous it's already illegal in canada to marry children so this bill is nothing more than divide and politics of fear and divide you from your neighbor and nothing more than a facetious attempt to say we're going to have a tip line we have 911 we have other resources let's fund domestic uh, violence because it's a cross cultural issue and let's not turn it into it only happens 